That we may more concretely describe the law upon which this lesson is based, let us embody the law in a code of ethics, such as one who wishes to follow literally the injunction of the golden rule might appropriately adopt as follows. My Code of Ethics 1. I believe in the golden rule as the basis of all human conduct. Therefore, I will never do to another person that which I would not be willing for that person to do to me if our positions were reversed. 2. I will be honest even to the slightest detail in all my transactions with others, not alone because of my desire to be fair with them, but because of my desire to impress the idea of honesty on my own subconscious mind, thereby weaving this essential quality into my own character. 3. I will forgive those who are unjust toward me, with no thought as to whether they deserve it or not, because I understand the law through which forgiveness of others strengthens my own character and wipes out the effects of my own transgressions in my subconscious mind. 4. I will be just, generous, and fair with others always, even though I know that these acts will go unnoticed and unrecorded in the ordinary terms of reward, because I understand and intend to apply the law through the aid of which one's own character is but the sum total of one's own acts and deeds. 5. Whatever time I may have to devote to the discovery and exposure of the weaknesses and faults of others, I will devote, more profitably, to the discovery and correction of my own. 6. I will slander no person, no matter how much I may believe another person may deserve it, because I wish to plant no destructive suggestions in my own subconscious mind. 7. I recognize the power of thought as being an inlet leading into my brain from the universal ocean of life. Therefore, I will set no destructive thoughts afloat upon that ocean lest they pollute the minds of others. 8. I will conquer the common human tendency toward hatred and envy and selfishness and jealousy and malice and pessimism and doubt and fear, for I believe these to be the seed from which the world harvests most of its troubles. 9. When my mind is not occupied with thoughts that tend toward the attainment of my definite chief aim in life, I will voluntarily keep it filled with thoughts of courage and self-confidence and goodwill toward others and faith and kindness, and loyalty, and love for truth, and justice. For I believe these to be the seed from which the world reaps its harvest of progressive growth. 10. I understand that a mere passive belief in the soundness of the Golden Rule philosophy is of no value whatsoever, either to myself or to others. Therefore, I will actively put into operation this universal rule for good in all my transactions with others. 11. I understand the law through which the operation of which my own character is developed from my own acts and thoughts. Therefore, I will guard with care all that goes into its development. 12. Realizing that enduring happiness comes only through helping others find it, that no act of kindness is without its reward, even though it may never be directly repaid, I will do my best to assist others when and where the opportunity appears.